keep living the adventure. Axis of awesome. What is up, adventures? Welcome to another What's in the Shop with your host, Jeff Skunkwork Studios. It's a nice, chilly January day here down in the shop. Got the uh, heater going and uh, decided to make a little video to share some some things with you guys. It's been a while since we've done a Watts in the shop and uh, I thought I'd I'd come down here. Got a little time to uh, to throw some things on camera. Um, I know lately I've been doing a lot of basic builds and uh, whatnot so I thought it would be uh, fun to just kind of do a little simple what's in the shop. It's not a great one, not a bad one. So uh, we'll pause the video, start running through all this stuff. All right, guys. So recently I've acquired a couple uh, couple figures. I was kind of excited to get uh, one I had planned on getting. The other one uh, just kind of just popped up out of nowhere. And uh, I picked him up. Uh, first one being this uh, Chris Star Marvel Legends figure. Uh, we've got a reviews day coming for it uh, sometime soon. Uh, Chris Star is one of my uh, favorite action figure lines as a kid. Old Remco Toys line based on the Marvel Comics property. And uh, Marvel Hasbro Pulse decided to partner up and do this Marvel Legends style figure. Chris Star, it's really cool. Um, it's not... 20 25 dollars or whatever i paid plus shipping like 30 something dollars cool but uh i really like it love chris star one of my like i said one of my favorite action figure lines of the early 80s along with he-man and gi joe so i picked that guy up was excited to add him to the collection this guy here is the uh Feist and tb league uh, death dealer figure uh, i found this in an estate sale at an auction up in champaign or urbana i'm sorry urbana illinois and i uh, got this for probably around i think it was like 70 bucks maybe which is a lot cheaper than what they retail for so i got a reviews day coming up for it as well both these guys will be featured in uh, some brew 30s coming up too so uh be on the lookout for those cool figures all right so something else i added recently is this uh little sure shot figure from the dreams and visions sergeant rock line you'll no doubt seen him in a reviews day as well uh, I needed him for a photo story, which is coming up here in the near future. And I think it's going to be a really cool photo story you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, Tom from Spider Monkey Films is helping me with it, and I think it's going to be cool. It's a cool figure. Uh, I have a few of the Dreams and Visions um, crew cut guys. I think Paul Knapp recently reviewed one of them. I think I have a, a Navy CB, I believe. And maybe one other figure. Uh, but these Dreams and Big Vision figures are super nice. I wish I had all of them, but I don't. The quality of these is like second to none. And uh, I really, really like this guy. I like the head sculpt. I know, I think, uh, boy, who was it on Facebook? Oh, fella I used to follow quite a bit. Um, used to take all these Dreams and Visions figures. He had Wild Man, Little Sure Shot, and Jackie Johnson. He would always create different adventures. With Russ Gerlach. Russ Gerlach. Russ, if you guys are familiar with Russ on Facebook, Russ used to make a lot of, I'm, I'm assuming he still does, Russ would make a lot of really cool customs with these style of figures. So uh, stay, stay tuned for something with this guy. I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy it. All right. So if you guys are familiar, one of my last few watts in the shops, I featured this World War II uh, combat field desk that my brother Joel has been trying to perfect. Um, it's really cool, it's all made out of wood. We're working on prototypes right now, but this is the latest one. He's kind of been refining. Um, I think they're super neat. I think it's gonna be something, um, you know, he's gonna perfect and it's gonna be kind of cool. We'll probably make a few of these and paint them and put them maybe on eBay for the World War II buffs. Um, I'm going to help him finish some stuff up, but this is the latest prototype. Of course, we got some broken legs here. I broke them when I was trying to do some stuff here recently. But uh, it's a really cool concept he's came up with. Um, of course, the portion goes up there. and He has these three different 
field desk arrays that he's came up with that all fit, I believe, in the box like so. You can do different combinations and, of course, um, for different types of need for your World War II base camp. Um, really, really cool. Like I said, the leg broke off and I had to kind of glue it back on, but I'll, I'll finish fixing it. But if you're not familiar with these, definitely give them a look up on Google. They're really neat. He's done a really great job of um, making these field desk pieces that go in there. Now, you know, uh, Brad Curry has a 3D printed kind of field desk, desk style thing too. Uh, and it's really, really neat. But uh, double check these on Google and see what you think of these. These are really cool. We'll get them probably for perfected maybe this summer. and throw some coats of paint on them. Maybe some decals and they'll uh, maybe throw a few of these on eBay if anybody's going to be interested in them. I think they're really, really cool if you're especially a G.I. Joe World War II uh, buff. All right, so recently I found an auction <clears throat> just down the road from me. And this guy appeared on there. This is this is a, a unicorn, I guess you could call it. It is a uh, vintage adventure figure. And he is in fantastic shape. He has, a, I think he has one knee crack, got a little bit of a blemish on the outfit there, but his flocks in fantastic shape, original dog tag, original clothes, original boots, and uh, what's super dope is the uh, original box, which I'm going to, uh, I've watched some toy ploy videos on restoring boxes, so I think I'm going to restore the box for this guy and add him to my collection. I'm not a big mint in box collector at all, but when I see him, I try to grab them if they're for a decent price. And this guy was in a great condition. So I got him for an okay price. I wouldn't say great price, but uh, I did get him. And uh, I love adding this guy to my collection. I have a couple of these adventurers. I have a regular version just like this. And I have a muscle body when you guys uh, noticed. I or not noticed. You guys saw a restoration of that a while back. So this is cool. I think it's neat to find... Uh, figures like this that have a definite story to tell. All right, sticking with the auction theme, here's another guy that I won in an auction. Regrettably, I didn't really want to win it. I just bid on it with the hope somebody would outbid me, and uh, I won it. So it wasn't something I was super excited about getting. I don't need any more projects to work on, but uh, he's not in great shape. He is a talker. A talking soldier, I believe, who does not talk well. So it's something that's definitely going to be a project. He's in pretty rough shape. He's got his arms are cracked really, really bad, both of them. Um, the knees are cracked incredibly bad. The head needs cleaned up quite a bit. Talking mechanism needs fixed. Elastics, uh, toast. <clears throat> The legs and feet are in good shape, but the problem with this guy, I noticed, is all his uh, pegs, most of them are oxidized, and uh, they crack and snap real easy, so um, that's not great. But uh, it'll be, I guess, a fun restoration project. Um, I did get a, a knockoff M1 carbine with this guy, a couple helmets, one's a G.I. Joe made in USA, the other one's a knockoff. I got his uh, field shirt and pants, knockoff helmet, and some knockoff boots. So we're gonna get him. Probably he's gonna he's gonna go in the back burner with a lot of my other GI Joe projects I have. Just if I need to make a video sometime in between better videos, I'll do like a restoration of him. So we'll put him in the uh, in the archives for a while. All right, so I got this in the other day from my best bud, Adam, over there at G.I. Joe Lost Chronicles out there in Arizona. Adam, uh, in his quest to make the dopest photo story of all time in the Time Phantom, uh, he had to buy some kids figures. And uh, fortunately for me, he had to buy some extras. And in that batch of extras was uh, this Ace Freely figure. Uh, Ace is my favorite member of KISS. Love Ace. And uh, Adam sent this guy to me. 
um, for my collection, man. So it's super dope. It's going to go on the Pantheon of Heroes on my desk at work. I'll probably restring him a little bit. I know Adam, when he got all these in, they were really, really loose in the, in the stringing, uh, in the stringing category. They're like super loose. The elastic head, uh, kind of went to shit on these, but, um, this is a super cool figure. Space Ace now will become a part of my, uh, Pantheon of Heroes at work. Thank you, Adam. You're a badass, bro. All right, so I was at Ollie's a while back after Christmas, and they had a big 30% off sale of all their stock. And uh, I grabbed a few of these Bandai uh, plastic model kits. Um, they were $12.99 plus 30% off, so I can't remember what they were all together. Do the math. I'm not going to do it in my head. But... Um, these are cool. These are uh, fully posable action figures. You guys have probably seen these. They retail for around $40 or $50, I think. Um, but uh, they had a ton of these, and I bought the Boba Fett. You guys know I'm a huge Boba Fett fan uh, from The Empire Strikes Back. And uh, I'll probably build him with my son when my son gets a little older. Probably all these with my son when he gets a little older. Uh, this is the Mandalorian. Um, that's really, really cool. I uh, love it. He's in part of his Beskar upgraded armor. He's got his, uh, this is the version that he gets his uh, Mudhorn sigil on his shoulder pauldron. So, and then I got this really cool G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Snake Eyes figure. Now, this is a model as well. Got this for 30% off. Decided to add him to my collection. Love Snake Eyes. And, uh, what I'll probably do with all these, these are snapped together model kits, so they're already pre-painted and snapped together. I will probably end up uh, getting these um, or keeping these all put up, and my son and I will build these when he gets older together as like a father-son project. We've also got a Tetsujin 28 and a God Phoenix from uh, Science Team Ninja Gotcha Man. I've uh, put both of those on old Watson the Shops, so they're all snapped together. And uh, something for us to do together. I think it's going to be super dope and super fun. All right. So big shout out to uh, Axis of Awesome member Andrew, Sarah, Andy, and Indy for you guys on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Andy is a uh, frequent guest you know, on Paul Knapp's show. He's been on there a few times here in the last several months. And Andy has sent me some really cool stuff. Uh, after the uh, Super Joe Locker restoration... Uh, by the way, the one guy who didn't like it, uh, I apologize to you. No, I'm just kidding, dude. I'm not going to apologize to you. Uh, Andy was cool enough to uh, come up with the inserts for that uh, locker. So he's made these available, I think, to everybody so they can uh, print them off. So you just print them off, cut them out, and they will. This is these are decals, and they'll decal right into those tray uh, reproduction uh, poster board parts that I gave you guys the uh, plans for on that um, photo story. So shout out to Andy. It's really, really cool, Andy. And thank you for sending this to me. You didn't have to do that, man. You're so cool. Uh, Andy also, a while back, sent me uh, a Godzilla label or decal for my uh, Shogun, Super Shogun Mecha Godzilla. Because you guys remember, I didn't like the foil ones. Uh, and he sent this to me. So when I give this to my son, uh, this spring after school's out, uh, we will put this on there, and that will be our Shogun Mechagodzilla's decal. He also sent me some cool Adventure Team uh, iron-on stickers as well, Andy. And thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. I've got your address, and don't you worry. I am currently working on things for all the Axis of Awesome members. Um, you guys always do cool stuff for me. Uh, and I have not forgotten that, and I will be sending things to a lot of people in the coming years. So thank you, Andy. I really, really appreciate all that you do for me and all you do for the Axis of Awesome. Speaking of the Axis of Awesome, I would be remiss if I didn't mention one of the most important and most talented members of our group, Mr. Cody at Pop Blocks 4583. Uh, I will say it, Mr. Cody at Pop Locks 4583, Pop Locks 4583, like Pat and Jay do Elite Action Joe Studios. They love Cody. I love Cody. And uh, Cody sent me a little care package of really cool stuff 
tactical watches. I could always use those. He sent me some really cool cell phones for my uh, G.I. Joe adventure team with the Axis of Awesome logo. Keep living the adventure, guys. He sent me a cool pair of 3D printed boots. I will paint up and use those. Thank you, Cody. He also sent me another pair of boots. I don't know if he made these and painted them, but those are super cool, man. Uh, can't wait to try these out as well. Uh, and he sent me some adapters for wrists and feet, which I've wanted these for a while, Cody. I have a package uh, to ship to him as well with some cool stuff for him. And uh, I really appreciate it. Cody is awesome. And uh, I know he's been really, really busy lately with his job. Hasn't really had a chance to really get back into doing stuff. But the stuff he has been doing is so dope that I don't even know if he needs to do anything. He can just put, keep putting out little things like he has been doing. And uh, I think they're so dope that, you know, you're just like, whoa. And uh, love it. Love Cody. Cody, thank you very much, man. I really, really appreciate it, and I will get you back. I just got in a little order from uh, my bud Chris at Red Venom Repros. Uh, I got a new a decal for my space capsule. I'll be restoring that at some point in time this year, hopefully. And then Chris also, if you've not been on Chris's site, you definitely need to get on there. It makes a lot of reproduction GI Joe stuff. But um, I've bought a lot of stuff from Chris over the years. He does injection molding, which is really cool. I really appreciate that. does a really good job. But I needed a, a for my uh, Devil Deep Triple Swamp Craft. I needed to uh, get some pieces for that. So uh, he sent me some pieces for that, as well as as well as some uh, goggles, which are really really cool. Not a lot of people make those, and uh, I really appreciate that. So that's cool. I will be doing stuff with all those things. Love Chris at Red Venom Repros. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of this video for him. You guys can check out his site. All right, guys. So you saw my live stream with the amazing Jim Agner at TK560. Uh, you know that I give Jim a big thank you. Uh, I bought some items off of him. I'm working on uh, finishing up my uh, G.I. Joe uh flying space adventure figure and he has these really cool pieces uh, that I got to finish it. I think I have everything I need now. Um, I've got the string and the uh, hook uh, for that. Of course I also got an adapter for the, new, for the helmet as well. If you guys remember a long time ago I uh, I, per I got, I got a, a partially complete flying space adventure at an auction and um, I had my mom fix some stuff on it, and then I had some pieces, and then I kind of made some stuff. But now that Jim's making these parts for this, uh, I'll be able to complete it. I believe that'll be everything I need. Uh, and the best part is I will put a bow on this set. When I do, when I do the video, I'm not going to do it until I, uh, I'm going to buy the... Uh, the Space Command vehicle that Jim makes, the one that was never produced by Hasbro. I'm going to get probably one of those here this coming fall from Jim. I know that Robert from Max Sog has one, did a video on it. So I'm going to get one as well and uh, have a giant complete space um, set. And probably I got a space video or space photo story that I've written that I think is going to be super dope. And hopefully I can do that in 2025. So, uh, that is on the horizon, so stay tuned. But one of the most important things Jim did is Jim made me a new peg for my Mike Power elbow in silver, which is cool. Uh, I love it. If you have a, a Mike Power with broken parts and you don't want to use the uh, other parts that you can get from like Cotswold or whatnot, you can get Jim. and He will make these in silver. They work great. I have to do a little sanding. But uh, it's cool. I love it. So uh, thanks, Jim, for all the cool things you do for not only me, but for the whole hobby in general. Here's something kind of cool. I just got this head off of a guy in Puerto Rico. Uh, I can't wait to use this for something. I've got a plan for it now. Got it for like 10 bucks plus like 5 bucks shipping. Uh, back in the early 2000s, when Takara released the Neo Henshin Cyborgs and... Uh, 
Blue Box Toys, BBI, Elite Force was going strong. They made two different figures based on the Takara Neo Henshin platform. They made a ninja figure, which is what this head's from, and they also made a uh, assassin figure, which you saw it in my Super Joe storyline. So I have this head now, so I can't wait to do something with this. I got a really, really cool plan, so stay tuned for that, guys. All right, a couple product notes. Just got a couple different versions of this VHT vinyl die. If you've seen my stories or my, or my customs, sorry, uh, you know, I love this stuff. I got this uh, charcoal gray for a project and getting ready to work on now. And I got this uh, plastic paint from them. So I can't wait to try it. It's orange, uh, racing orange. So uh, I can't wait to try these on a couple customs I'm working on right now. That I think are going to be super dope. I hope you guys are going to enjoy what I got coming up. But I love this kind of paint, uh, the vinyl dye. I've tried a few different brands, and they're all pretty good. So uh, kind of keep that in mind if you're doing a custom. All right, guys. So here's something I recently acquired at an auction as well. The same auction I got the uh, G.I. Joe Adventurer at, actually. So this is a giant rocket, okay? So... Uh, I didn't know what this was when I first got it. When I, when I found it on eBay, I got it for like 15 bucks, or not eBay, sorry, this auction, I got it for 15 bucks. Now, I only saw it online, so I had no idea how big this thing was. Uh, this is giant. It's about almost four foot tall, and it is massive. It's six inches in diameter. I wasn't sure what it was, so I emailed uh, my buddy over there at Model Rockets 321, and he said uh, it is a... Uh, small rocket company called Lock Precision and uh, he clued me on to that and now I am obsessed with getting all the gear together to fire this thing off. So uh, the engines are going to be pretty expensive but um, I think what we're going to end up doing with this thing is a restoration and then a launch. So hopefully that works out. It's a giant rocket. My brother's down with it as well. He's like let's do this. So uh we're going to get this thing done and uh, hopefully launched maybe sometime this coming fall. So stay tuned for that. What's up, guys? Hey, as part of this What's in the Shop, i got a bonus uh, set of photos for you guys. One of the original members of the Axis of Awesome, a friend of all of our channels, the great G.I. Joe Eddie Burton, has sent me some pictures he wanted to share with you guys on his new uh, cryptid vehicle uh, he's taken a mobile support vehicle and modified it to uh, make a cryptid hunting vehicle for his G.I. Joe Adventure team. I know Eddie wants to start a YouTube channel at some point. He comments on everybody's stuff. Always there for everybody. Love Eddie Burton. Uh, I'm going to share these pictures with you guys as part of a, a group of pictures he sent me on Instagram. So we're going to do a real quick slideshow at the end of this Watson the Shop. So give Eddie a bunch of love and shout outs. Eddie, keep kicking ass and keep living the adventure. guys that wraps up our latest what's in the shop i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, a lot of cool stuff for you guys uh not as cool as ones in the past but sometimes you can't make them all winners um a few things i want to talk about real quick before we go um working on several photo stories kind of what i'm doing right now i'm working on a major photo story for july which i think is going to be super dope um, I'm also working on some a series of short photo stories, less than six minutes long, to kind of as fillers to kind of tell a, a broader story. Um, so be on the lookout for some of those. I've got a couple of them done. I'm working on a couple of them right now, and uh, I think those are going to be super cool. Um, 
the live stream's going really, really well. Uh, I've enjoyed doing it. It's uh, starting to starting to kind of really come into its own. I know I've got a ton of positive feedback from a lot of people on uh, YouTube and Instagram. Really enjoy the uh, one-on-one format, which I enjoy doing that as well. And, uh, you know, for a lot of you guys out there who uh, would like to come on the live stream, you know, let me know. I can probably make it work. I'm right now just going to do one a month probably. And um, just because I'm, I'm kind of pressed for time, it's kind of a commitment, you know, they're about an hour and anywhere from an hour and 20 to an hour and 50 minutes, depending on who's on there. And uh, so I like to do them once a month. And I've got a couple guys already lined up for the next couple months, but um, I think it's going to be super fun. Uh, Brew 30 still going really, really well. I uh, still enjoy doing all those. I did a kind of a dry January, not really, but I drier January, but um, the, the deal with those are I have to get a figure to share with those and I also have to have a beer. So um, those are those are probably one of my favorite videos to do and probably one of the least viewed ones. So um, whatever. I love that's it's, it's cool stuff to me. A um, couple last things, uh, some things I'd like to do. Um, I know there's a lot of you guys out there who want to get into or are getting into making uh, photo stories or videos or photography or any of that stuff and you don't have YouTube channels and you maybe like to get a YouTube channel but you don't have the time or don't know how to do it. Um, something I'm thinking about doing this coming summer and maybe uh, fall if I can get it scheduled to work is doing a Friday feature. Uh, where I do a live stream and uh, crack a beer and maybe have a guest. I don't know yet. And I would like to know if anybody out there would be interested who doesn't have a YouTube channel or does, if you want to send me some shorts, uh, whether a short photo story you've made or something that you would like to share. And it doesn't have to be a uh, one six scale. It doesn't have to be GI Joe. It can be, you know, anything, but let's keep it in the toy realm, okay? Um, so I don't need your OnlyFans stuff. Um, <laughs> but I would like to do that and, like, feature maybe one or two of those on a live stream every so often. You give me a little backstory. Uh, you can even come on the show and talk about it, but feature something, and I'll throw it on a live stream. We can all watch it together, kind of like an old watch show, kind of like uh, Svengooley or Sammy Terry or uh, some of these other guys. It's kind of a concept I'm playing around with right now. So um, I definitely think that would be something fun to do. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested. Email me. Let me know if you're interested in making some stuff and uh, reaching out to me. And we can we can put it on a live stream maybe and do like a, a feature, one, a monthly feature, like a creature feature or an action feature or a sci-fi feature or just photos, whatever you want. Um, we'll figure that out. At a later date. I really enjoy uh, the question and answer that Pat and Jay do at Elite Action Joe and I would like to do something uh, in that vein where I can showcase people's stuff on a live stream. So uh, we'll try to figure that out later on this summer and make it work. Uh, a lot of guys who are starting to really round out other channels. Uh, first of all, congratulations to everybody who has hit a thousand or a little larger than a thousand. Mike's GI do Dojo has recently hit 1500. Logic Blaster is gonna easily pass me uh, here before long if he hasn't already. Adam's nearing a thousand subscribers. And uh, I know a few of you other guys are doing really well. Uh, Tom Hansen from Spider Monkey is getting right back into doing it. I know Jay and Pat are trying to really get back up and going. Cody's pretty busy, but I know he's done some stuff. Um, Adam's working on a really cool photo story. Uh, Largo's Lair. If you guys haven't subscribed to Largo's Lair or Wilhelm, Wilhelm Toy and Hobbies channels, please do so. Uh, those guys, you know, they're just, they don't get enough love, man. They, they do some really cool stuff. I enjoy being on their channels. It's one of the few channels I'll probably go on still, you know, because I'll, I'll make time because I just enjoy, um, I just enjoy all the stuff that they do. It allows me to kind of go on there and, and, and be myself. And I really love that Jim uh, let, lets me come on his platform and do my stuff. I really enjoyed Infinite Playlists. I think it was super cool. Uh, I probably could have done three hours 
Uh, th thankfully, they cut me. They cut me off. But uh, Jim is doing a great job with his channel, and I know him and his uh, him and his buddy Wilhelm are doing some really really cool stuff. So definitely give Jim some love. Follow his channel. Follow all those other guys' channels if you haven't. And uh, other than that, guys, I don't think anything else really is uh, worth mentioning. I guess uh, it's cold here right now, but I think the weather's going to improve. And uh, I just need to get out and do some uh, photo stories. And I got some really cool stuff I'm working on. Hopefully, I can make it happen this year. So, guys, I hope you're doing great out there. Uh, 2024, man, it's it's lit. So uh, we're all in this together, right? So it's about all I can say. So I hope you guys are doing great. Let me know in the comments what you think of my ideas. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this stuff. Like and subscribe to the page if you haven't. Hit that notification icon. I've always got videos coming every week. Got some really good reviews days. And in the meantime, guys, keep living the adventure and cheers.